Hello and thanks for joining me again. I'm still Tony and I'm still trying to build this tank. So very early days. Um, this is my second day of the tank build on my Tiger One late variant. Um, today I'm going to build or certainly try and build the front plate or the glasses plate, um, which effectively houses the machine gun um, and the light and the um, sort of, if you like, the viewing um, sort of visor and, and armory that goes with that. So I've gone out, picked out all the pieces I need, dug them all out, takes a bit of time, but it's well worth it. Picked all the fixings that I'm gonna need. They're all here in my magnetic tray, my Loctite, and all the tools I'm gonna to use, basically a set of Alum keys, uh, my little sort of socket set, and a sort of a thin nose player of pliers. So I'm gonna go and try and build this. Again, I mean, one thing I will say about Armatech is the, the quality, as soon as you get these parts out, it, you know, right down to the tooling on the machine gun itself. Uh, this is hollow. This must be obviously for the later edition of the lighting and machine gun pack, which is an option available from Armatech. Um, again, just everything you pick up and feel has just got a beautifully machined feel to it. Really, 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 really impressed. Very early days, but really impressed. So I'm gonna get on and build this. Um, um, I'm going to probably speed this up because you probably won't want to see the boring elements of it, but we'll just uh, speed it up till we get to the, the, uh, the part that we're, we're really trying to get to. Get to. straightforward nice easy part of the build this is um, they recommend you keep this as a loose movement and certainly that um, and I guess that once it's powered up and uh, connected to its motor it'll, it'll sort of straighten itself out but again that's so far down the line no idea how that's all going to put together in the end but uh, definitely worth uh, going through the kit pulling out all the parts and all the uh, nuts and bolts and everything before you do that because the actual build doesn't take much time at all. So that's that um, for the front section. 
with its light, its visor or viewing um, sort of viewing slot. I've left it open. You can it, you can slacken the fixings off at the back to drop it down, but I've just left it open for now. Um, and a little machine gun post. So the next item is to build up the back plate. This here, which has already been assembled on it. Um, perhaps if you're an advanced builder, you probably would have suggested putting all the uh, the components on the back before you put it on, but it is what it is. I'm now gonna go on to build and assemble this rear plate. Um, hopefully it's as straightforward as the front plate. And uh, again, before I do that, I'm gonna go and dig out all the components I need and then get ready to build. So right, well, um, that took forever. It, it literally took me about an hour and a half to find all the components ready for the rear plate assembly. So just this piece here, which is this back plate here, all these little pieces um, and all the fixings. I mean, it was like a bizarre treasure hunt. Um, I know the guys at Armatech um, are brilliant, but I wonder if they do this for a bit of a, bit of a laugh. Um, anyway, it, it took a long time, but I'm glad I've got them all. Eventually found everything. I mean, li literally they're in a random bags. They're all, made, they're all labeled and, uh, and everything else, which is fine, but you know, there's a lot of bags. As I said, you know, in my first video, there's like thousands of components and you've got to go through and find all these things. But anyway, I've got them all now. Um, and I'm now going to start um, installing them to this back plate. So uh, that's going to be the next stage of my project. So anyway, um, thanks again for uh, continuing to watch and uh, I'll carry on. Thank you. So um, this is almost done, the back hull, it's taken a long time, not because to assemble it or put it together has taken a long time, just uh, like I previously said, just finding all the fittings. Um, so I'm on the jack right now, which is an armor packs um, piece of kit. Now, uh, you, you really kind of need to have a little bit of basic modeling knowledge to be able to tackle this. This is um, a resin, obviously 3D printed, um, profile of a jack and it comes with several components and obviously when this came out of the bag I had to do a bit of work on it and I had to try and clean up the edges and take all the resin parts off being careful not to take off what looks like the weld joint um, I guess when this is painted it'll look amazing but um, so I've had to try and put this together and, and um, obviously for this you're gonna have to use um, some serious modeling glue and I use this product called uh, rocket Rocket Max and it will stick, in my experience, it will bond plastic, resin, metals together very well. So I'm just going to continue doing this now and, and what I tend to do is use these sort of cocktail sticks um, and and use you know, a, bit of, a bit of care. The other thing is there are some holes here that I've had to drill out, although they were marked or I could see where the hole, I had to put them in my vise and, and drill them out to make sure um, they'll receive the various, or the two, well, there's two metal components that plug in. I'm just going to put sufficient glue on that. And then this is the jack foot, which will then be inserted into this. And this glue goes off really quickly, so we just need to make sure that that is aligned, and it is. So that'll go off reasonably quickly. And on the other end, there's the jack point. Which I guess is um, 
Uh, just looking, just checking the instructions on this, the way it is, yeah, so it's rotated round, so the long part is perpendicular to the back of the hole, so we'll just put a little bit more glue on that. I must admit, today has been quite frustrating. Um, I think more because uh, I just spent so long trying to get the, you know, find the parts um, and all the fixings. Um, you know, it's, it's, it is what it is, I guess. Um, you know, and it just feels I haven't really gone very far today, but in essence, I think I have. Well, that's it. That's today's build finished. What I set out this morning to accomplish. So I've now completed the back panel or the rear face of this, including the towing hook, the first part of the exhaust system, the jack. Now the jack itself, uh, I've only just put this in here loosely. Um, that's from Armour Packs, and that's a different piece of kit altogether. It's a 3D printed resin piece, so you will need to clean it up a little bit. Just simple files will clean up the edges. Just get rid of, uh, rid of the overspill from the 3D printing. Um, and you have to basically bond these in. I would use um, a, 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 an appropriate glue rather than Loctite. Um, something that will bond resin and metal quite well. You could use a Rocket Max, which is what I use. Uh, it's quite useful glue, um, pretty much glues everything. Um, everything else is all bolted in. And as I said, it, I think the most frustra frustrating thing today was trying to find all the pieces. Um, I'm glad I did that first because I think it would have been a nightmare trying to find this piecemeal. Um, so definitely allocate all the pieces. So just, just decide what you're gonna build that day um, and, and set yourself a target, but don't go silly. Just what's, what's achievable. Um, I've only literally just done this and the front the front piece here today um, I'm happy with what I've achieved um, I, I've really enjoyed it uh, as I said the only frustrating part was finding the bits but once I got them all together all set aside it was actually quite straightforward really enjoying this process um, a long way to go I, but one thing I have found today is this mobile bench has been invaluable this is now even at this early stage is so heavy um, and it's getting more and more awkward to move around so at least I can get around this model 360 degrees, like I said before, with a lot of ease and a bit of task lighting is always very helpful. So that's it for, uh, for today. Um, thanks again for joining me. And as I said before, I'm Tony and I'm still trying to build this tank. Thank you. Bye.